are having a wonderful celebration today have something planned uh, to get out with your family and friends I know you can't have large gatherings still right now uh, but for your close family hopefully you can get together and do some things and enjoy uh, I think it's supposed to be a beautiful day and uh, enjoy some time of celebration for our country and I know there's a lot going on in our country right now and I pray and I hope you guys are praying for peace and and for uh, times that we can really celebrate and enjoy um, but today is a great day and I'm so glad that you joined me because I have got a haul for you guys today um, so there's so many different things that I want to share with you that I picked up along the way some things that um, a few little things to do with the fourth and uh, celebration and then the rest are things I've just been accumulating I'll put things on my desk and uh, and on my shelves and uh, wait till my next video that I can show you several things all together so anyway are you guys ready to see what I have for you. Let's get started. Guys, I hope you enjoy my background for Independence Day. Isn't it cool? I just loved it. I love putting it together. But one thing I want to share with you that's in my background, a dear, dear, sweet friend sent it, Haley. And it is a beautiful, beautiful thing that she's created right over my shoulder. And I'm going to grab it real quick without messing anything up. But she was such a doll um, for doing this, and I thank her so much. <clears throat> she did one for Melissa, too. But she says, Mitzi, she sent me this really sweet, sweet card. Uh, <clears throat> she says, Mitzi, I hope you like this. It was actually inspired by your, by your Instagram post with the Mickey doormat. And I'll include a picture of that. Uh, I love your content and seeing all of your fun things you get. Your videos always bring me joy when I watch them, so I just wanted to do something nice to show my appreciation. That is so, so sweet. She says that she goes on to say that she doesn't have a small shop on Etsy yet, so if you like this, uh, she doesn't have a shop on Etsy, um, but I will link her information below, and uh, if you want to reach out to her, you can, but uh, I think she's on her way to an Etsy shop because she does such great work, but thank you so much for that. That is just such a sweet card and so thankful, and um, I just really, really appreciate that. Now, one thing she did say, I'm going to show you this real quick, is this cute little keychain. I love it. Now, I don't know if she made this keychain or if she just bought it, but it is so cute. It's a red Mickey, uh, like, ears keychain. It's so, so pretty. So, thank you for that. And then, look at this, guys. God bless America. Isn't this awesome? I'm going to try to show it so that uh, I don't have the glare from the lights. And isn't that beautiful? Oh, my gosh. And it has these little... Uh, little pieces on the back cloth on the back like if you want to hang it on your like a glass door or something it will <clears throat> hang there without like banging against the door uh, and damaging either one of them but I think this is gorgeous um, this is a sackcloth type of material that she made the bow out of uh, it is just beautiful I just love it. You got your beautiful glittery red on top, and then in red, God bless America, and then still glittery colors in the bottom with Mickey heads. Oh, man, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Haley. I just appreciate you thinking of me and, and doing this and thinking of Melissa. She, she sent her one too. Um, you just, you don't know how much that just means to me. I just love it. You did an amazing job and I think you should have an Etsy shop. I think you are very talented. Um, and I think a lot of people out there would love to have something like this. So anyway, like I said, I will link her information below. 
But thank you again, hon. I mean, it is just gorgeous. I love it. So thank you and happy 4th of July to you. So love that. Let me see if I can set this back so that it's still in my decoration. It's just so beautiful. I want it in my collection. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you today is something that I have ordered. Now, if you look back at one of my videos, um, and I'll try to link that below, where I had a Vera Bradley haul of a new pattern that I purchased, and I absolutely love it, uh, and I can't wait to use it. I, I can't take it anywhere because I, I just, I can't go anywhere right now. So, but when I'm able to, I am definitely going to go for a short weekend and I'm going to throw all this stuff in back of my car and take off but what I have gotten is it was on clearance now this is one of the outlet uh, Vera Bradley outlet purchases um, and I think this particular pattern is unique to um, just the outlet and this is the sunburst floral pattern and what this is this is um, like cosmetic cases um, so what I like about this, um, you don't have to buy them individually, but it has three separate cases inside of a plastic see-through case. So really you get four cases, and I think I got this for like, I mean, it retails suggested $75, but you know I'm not going to pay $75 for that. Um, so this was, oh my gosh, less than $20 um, that I paid for this, and so uh, I was really excited about it. So like I said, it has a zippered case and if you open it up you've got the first case that comes out it is a nice size little case right here um, and I would say this is the largest one inside the plastic carrier um, but open it up it's kind of a circular um, and oh my gosh the things you can fit in this I mean um, I have a pretty large can of hairspray so that would not work in here toothpaste toothbrush makeup any of those kind of things um, and this is probably not long enough for even brushes maybe uh, some combs and things like that some makeup brushes would work good in this so love this so I have plenty of room you could carry your medicine in this if you have several bottles that you just want to dump all your medicine in uh, for you or the kiddos or whatever so you have that then um, you have a different one right here now this to give you an illustration it's larger than uh, a pencil case uh, but again you could put makeup um, any of your toiletries soap deodorant that kind of thing in there um, and of course these being Vera Bradley are very soft and kind of stretchable there the last one in the case is this one it is similar to um, like a pencil case also but not as tall as the one before um, so again whatever you have um, that would work in this your smaller pieces uh, chapstick uh, hand lotion, little things that you just want to take on it, you know, when you get to where you're going and you want to just throw a little small little cosmetic bag in your big bag uh, to take with you, um, you'll have that. So that could be very handy. Now, there's so many places these days that you enter, they want you to have a clear see-through case. So um, you could certainly use this if you're going to a game, um, a football game or anything like that that requires a see-through case. Uh, but again, you can put, now this would be large enough for your hairspray, those larger brushes, uh, any of those type items, and it's plastic. So um, definitely anything that you think might leak would be perfect for this uh, and not your uh, material bags that I just showed you. So anyway, I was so excited to pick this up. Can't wait to use it. Hopefully one of these days I'll be able to get out of here and, and go do something and I'll be so excited to add this to my collection. So wanted to share that with you. So now the next thing I want to share with you are a couple of things I picked up and um, in preparing for Independence Day today. But these are so cute. They're three pair of little crew socks and I picked these up at Target. 
Uh, here's a light blue pair with uh, red, blue, and white uh, uh, stars. They are so cute. These were like a dollar a pair. Um, this is better than going to um, Five Below. And so here's another pair. And this is really, really cute because this one sock has um, the dark blue with the white stars. And then the other sock that pairs with it is white and red stripe. I just think that is so cute. You know, Crocs has a pair of Crocs out right now that uh, has the patriotic theme on it. And I believe one has stars and stripes, I mean stars on one and stripes on the other foot. So I thought that was really cute. And then this is really cute. Uh, it's got a little glitter at the top and on the heel and the toe, uh, but it says red, white, and blue. And I think these are really, really cute. So, I was so glad to pick those up. And so, like I said, I got those at Target for a dollar. And so, um, you might want to check that out. So, now another thing that I purchased, and I did go to Five Below, but I love this t-shirt. Now, you know I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. And this is Rebels. What does it say at the bottom? Use the Force. And it just has that old retro look to it from Star Wars. And you know I'm a big fan of that. And so I just loved, love this t-shirt. Just loved it. Uh, and was so glad it had a lighter color to it this time. Uh, and, you know, I, the last t-shirt I bought that had a really retro look to it was a black t-shirt. And it had, like, the neon greens and reds. And, of course, I think that looked great because those neon colors just popped off of the black t-shirt. So, anyway, now I have got uh, a little different design and a different colored t-shirt. So, love that. So, in it, five below, their t-shirts are only five dollars. And, you know, I'm plus size, so they had, now these run small, but I, they had a 2X, which would work perfect for me, and they fit me just fine. Um, so, you can still get one if you're in the plus size there. So, love that. Okay, so, the next thing I want to share with you is something that I picked up at Hobby Lobby on their clearance. Um, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, it was like 90% off. But I jumped on this. I was like, are you kidding me? Take a look at this. Is this not absolutely cool? Yes, it's the Incredibles. I just love it. Um, it's a little sign, a uh, little photo. It's actually, I don't even know what that is. It's not like a paper uh, picture. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, nevertheless, it's of the Incredibles. It has the whole family there. You guys want to take a guess at how much I pay for this? I know you can't see it from here. A dollar and seventy nine cents. I made a dollar and seventy nine cents for this. I thought it was so cool. I couldn't resist to add it to my collection because I am a huge into um, Incredibles uh, fan. I have a lot of their. One of my largest pin collections is the Incredibles, and I'm starting to collect the Funkos. So anyway, so, so cool. I was so glad to be able to pick that up. Uh, so love that and got such a great deal. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna share with you is um, <clears throat> some Funko Pops that I picked up. Um, so you know, I just said that I absolutely love The Incredibles. Um, <clears throat> and so I started picking some up. Now, when I, I think I've got these off of Funko.com, if I'm not mistaken, um, and it was either Funko.com or Hot Topic or, um, or Box Lunch, I can't remember, but it is put out by Funko, but I don't quite understand, <laughs> because when I got them home, when they arrived in the mail, it wasn't what I thought it was. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little box, and it's the Incredible Twos, and this is Violet. But when you open it up, it is a small little figure. Um, and so I was like, this is not normal. Um, and so let me take this out and show it to you real quick. But, and I won't take every single one of these out of the box because I have several to show you. Oh, and this is taped in. So let me just pop it up here and let you see it real quick. If you can see that, that is violet. And um, look how tiny she is. 
And so, and it has a few little accessories with her. And so, um, anyway, I, I don't know what the difference is. Like I said, it is put out by Funko, but it's not uh, the traditional size. Um, and I am missing just one of those. And the uh, next one I picked up is uh, Dash. This is Dash. And I'll get him out real quick and show him to you. And then this one also comes with some accessories, like a math book and um, some kind of little gadget he has that I guess he uses. I can't really remember in the movie what those are. Uh, but that is Dash, his little speedy self. Okay, and then... And the next one I picked up is Mr. Incredible. So, um, I really don't even know which one I missed. And I'll have to see which ones I have right here to kind of tell you. But this is Mr. Incredible, and he too has a little attachment that he has. So, that's Mr. Incredible. He's so cool, but tiny, but cool. And then the last one like that... Of course, I'm going to drop everything right when I'm trying to get to it, is Elastigirl. So the only one I'm missing off of the back of this box is Jet-Jack. So I am going to pick Jet-Jack up. I even thought briefly about returning these. Uh, I got a good price on them. The only reason I'm not returning them is because I did get a good price on them. So I think I'll just hold on to them. Um, but this is uh, Mrs. Incredible, Elastigirl. So she's really cool. Love her. And then she comes with some attachments. It's arms. <laughs> arms that you can take off and add back. So different arms. So, okay. Okay, so in saying that, now I have some Funkos that are the normal looking Funkos that I thought my others were going to be like. Um, and so the first one I'm going to show you is Jack Jack. I did get Jack Jack in this one. And honestly, I've got a couple variations of Jack Jack um, that from the second movie. But oh, he is so cool. I love it. And this is, it looks smaller, but he's actually small. So for this particular one, um, he is actually going to look um, small, but he's the actual size he's supposed to be. So that is Jack Jack. He's so cool. Okay, and so now let me show you the next one. Now, the next one is a Jack-Jack, but this is Monster Jack-Jack. This is the, when he turns into the monster in the second movie. <clears throat> and I think that is so neat. I had to pick this up. And there's one more. I don't think I have it. I'll have to look and see. I don't think I have it, but there's one where he turns into a ball of flame, you know, a fire, and he's a big fireball. That's what I want to pick up. But this is the Monster Jack Jack. That is so cool. I like having the different variations of Jack Jack. So, love that. So, that's cool. Um, and I think that's all of the Jack Jacks that I have. The next one is the Screen Slaver. Um, that is this one, if I'm saying that correctly. But I want to get all of them. Let me see if you can get a close-up of all the characters on the back. Um, and these are the ones I'll want to pick up. If you can see those, if that's coming in clear. But I want to pick all those up. And I don't have them yet. Um, I still have several to pick up. Really, it's mostly just the family, like Mr. Incredible, because like I said, the ones that I were picking up, it came in little tiny ones. I thought that's what I was getting were these, um, the larger ones. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let me try to get him out. Oh, he don't, he looked bad. Yeah. If you remember in the movie, he was an awful bad guy, but he is really cool looking with those big blue eyes. Love those. Get that to come in so you can see it. He's really cool looking. But love that. Set him on my seal there. Okay, so let's see. The next one. Oh, I love this one. Frozone. I love Frozone. <laughs> he 
is so funny in the movie and I just love him. But here he is on his ice that he creates and his head is so big. I love Frozone. So let me show you a close up of this one. But I love this. He is so funny in the movie. You just gotta watch it to see. But love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is actually one that my son Trip gave me. And it's Elastigirl on her motorcycle. So I thought that was so, so cool. And that's really what kind of started me collecting the Funkos of the Incredibles. I mean, I've always wanted them. Uh, I actually collected, you remember when McDonald's had the toy of the Incredibles about a year or so ago? Um, I got those and actually I had two or three sets and I've given um, some of them away. But, um, so I thought, well, you know, I've got those and I've just kind of been putting it off really. And, uh, but when he brought this home to me, I was like, oh, I said, I got to collect the rest of them. I mean, really, come on. So let me, I've got her and this one is so, so cool. If you remember in The Incredibles 2, uh, when she was taking off after the bad guys on her motorcycle and she would stretch out, I just love this piece. I just think it is so, so neat love it see if I can give it turn it around for you so you can see it good but love that so so cool so thank you Trip. I really really love this one so I've got one last one to share with you and it is the underminer um, he is a bad guy also from Incredibles 2. So I got all the bad guys. Now I just got to pick up Mama, Papa, and the babies, you know, and the kids. So, let's see. I got to keep these things separated. When I get ready to put them back together, I'm not going to know what goes there. I got so many. But this is really, really cool. It's got so many different colors. Of course, his head turns. Um, his face actually looks pink. He looks like a little pig. He might be. I don't know. But anyway, love that. So, so cool. So, guys, you know I cannot have a video without showing you some pins. Not a haul video. Uh, I love pins. It's just one of my passions. And uh, I love collecting them. I love showing them. I love sharing them. Uh, I love watching other pin videos and seeing what everybody else is picking up. But, anyway, let me show you some of these uh, pins. I have a lot to show you. So, hang on to your hat and just get you a glass of tea and enjoy. <laughs> so, anyway... Uh, the first thing I want to share with you is a trade that I had, uh, and I made a trade with Tanya, and she was so sweet, y'all. I mean, I traded her for a pen, and then she sent me, oh my gosh, this wonderful card, Aladdin card that I thought was so, so cool. It's so neat. I love Aladdin. I watch it all the time. Um, and then she also sent, let me set this down. She also sent uh, some beautiful uh, uh, princess stickers. Love those. And then, listen, there's more. She sent me some Baymax stickers. Aren't those cool? I just love Baymax. I just think he's so cute. Sent me these little racers. I love those. Those are of uh, Lotso and Stitch. Not Stitch, but um, Sully. Sully. So love those, but let me show you a close-up of the pen that I traded for her. And I've seen this, oh, it's been out for a while, over a year, um, and I just hadn't picked it up, but it's going to be great in my Toy Story collection, and I was so glad to finally pick it up, so let me give you a close-up. Okay, so here we go. It's Hong Kong Disneyland, and it's of the three green aliens, and it's like a Valentine's pen, or a pen with hearts on it. Isn't that cute? And you can lift it up. It has a little saying there. And that goes back down. I love it. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate the trade so much and all the nice little goodies that you sent along with it. I really, really appreciate it. 
So the next thing I want to share with you is, uh, and this is the last pen set that um, we got in, and I don't know if we're ever going to see these again or not. I know we haven't purchased um, another one since. This was the last one that Shop Disney came out with, but it's the Minnie Mouse Attractions uh, pen set. And you know you can get the plush and the bag and the mug and I don't know what else, <clears throat> but Anyway, this is so cool. This is the Tiki Room one, and I finally am showing it to you guys for me. I know you've probably seen it everywhere else, but let me give you a close for this. So you've got your ears, you got Minnie, and is that a parakeet? Or is that a toucan? I, I don't know. I don't know my birds that well. <laughs> so anyway, love this. I love it, and I sure hope that they come back out very soon uh, and pick this collection back up because this is number five out of 12. So we've got quite a few to go to finish the set out. So I hope they, they do come back and finish that up. So love that. Now the next thing I picked up is uh, some pins. I finally picked these up. I've seen people with them and I've just never uh, looked for them. And I was in Target one day and actually was looking for a Funko Pop and, um, and saw these just hanging there. It was the last one on the rack. And I said, you know what? I gotta get those. It's from the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. And it's the ones that Target offered. So let me give you a close up for these. Okay, so I'm going to hold it still because I do not want uh, my lights to kind of give you a glare, but love this. It's the whole set from Target, and so glad I could pick it up. Those are really cool. So I think I paid maybe $10, $12 for these. I can't remember, but it wasn't as cheap as I thought they'd be. But anyway, I got them, and uh, so glad I can add them to my collection. Okay, so the next pen I'm going to share with you is a pen that uh, I picked up off Shop Disney, and it's been, oh my gosh, a while since I picked this up, and I tell you, I just hadn't done another pin haul for you guys to share it, but I love it because you know what? Um, the fall season's quickly approaching, and it is uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas pin of Jack, and it has uh, Jack and Sally in their eyes. Isn't this a cool pen? I love the backer card. I, I just, you know, I'm a huge fan of backer cards. A lot of times, like, and this is a great example of how the backer card can really complement the picture, I mean, the pen. Um, and I just, you know, it just kills me um, when folks just take these off and throw them in the trash. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that backer card is so beautiful. Uh, and it just goes so well with the pen. So anyway, love these. The next pen I'm going to share with you are some pens that I actually got uh, that I purchased from Karen at Karen's USA Adventures. And listen guys, if you don't follow her, you need to. I will link her below. She has a pickup service uh, for Primark over in the UK. And um, she is just booming. I tell you, she has got a really great business going on with that. And I'm telling you, I will link her below and go check her out. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be interested in something she she can pick up for you. But anyway, she was uh, kind of downsizing her collection. And I know Karen. And Karen takes great condition, great care of her pens. And she had these up for sale. And I just jumped on them because they're part of the Incredibles. So let me give you a close-up of these real quick. How gorgeous is this pen? I, I, I'm just like, when I saw she had it for sale, I just jumped on it. It is from Hong Kong Disneyland. It's Pen Trading Nights in 2018. But oh my gosh, look at all this. Look at Jack-Jack. Look at Jack-Jack on Dash's shoulders. I think that is just priceless. I just love this pen, and it's a jumbo. It's a huge, it's like a mini jumbo. I don't know if you would call it a mini jumbo or if it's just a jumbo, but it's large, um, and I am so excited to have it. So let me show you this one. She gave me this one. Well, not gave me. I bought it from her. Uh, another one from the pen trading night, and it's of Jack-Jack. Isn't that cool? So I was so excited to be able to pick these up, and I'm just so thrilled to add them to my collection. So the next pens I'm going to share with you, I've got four new ones, and it is 
part of the Star Wars um, pin of the month. Now there are tons, I can't tell you how many right off, I hadn't counted them, but there's a lot of pins in this collection. And I've got four new ones to share with you. And um, so what I'm gonna do is just show them to you all at one time, but I just love them. And I'm so excited to add them to my collection and cannot wait to pick up the others. Okay, so here's the first one, and this one is of Senator Amidala, if I'm not mistaken, is the name. Uh, so love that one, and look at this. These are like pin on pin. Isn't that great? And they're heavy. I just, oh my gosh, I have just, I just fell in love with these. Melissa already has this complete collection, and I've just put it off because there's so many in the set, uh, but so glad to be picking these up now. So this is one of the Stormtroopers uh, on one of the speeders. Uh, an indoor, I think that's the name of the planet. And then here is uh, Mace Windu, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I tell you, I just love all those colors. Love, love this pen. So this is Luke Skywalker, and he's being trained by Master uh, Yoda. Love this one. So pin on pin. So I'm so excited to pick these up and can't wait to get some of the others. So love those. Okay, so now uh, here is the other Yoda pin. Now I um, told you I was going to have this one coming. Melissa, I gave her the money for it and she picked this up for me because she was able to get through on May the 4th. And um, so we just now got this one in, not long ago, um, and so love that. So here is Master Yoda from May the 4th of this year, 2020, and love this pen. It is also a pen on pen. So this one is Donald Duck, and uh, looks like he's all dressed up for Halloween, and you know that's not too far away now, and so I'm so excited, and uh, we're going to have some great pins coming out during that time, and I cannot wait to get a hold of them. Uh, so let me give you a quick close-up of this one. Look at this. Donald is being a bad boy, and uh, I love it. I love the colors, the green and the purple. It is just so neat. Love this pen guys another pen I'm going to share with you is one I finally was able to finish a collection with and it is Merida's Castle. Um, I shared with you that I was collecting the pens uh, from Loungefly and it's the Princess Castle pens and the only one that I needed was Merida and someone and I mentioned this in one of my videos and a great subscriber um, reached out to me and actually traded me for this pen so I was just so excited so let me give you a quick close-up for this one okay how awesome is this isn't that a beautiful castle I just love it you could just see Merida there I just love to finally be able to complete that collection and uh, it's going to look great in my book. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to share with you is the one of the latest. The one, what I have left to show you are the most current things that have been coming out. And this is a, a Star Wars pen from Loungefly. Now, Loungefly has been releasing some fantastic jumbo pens uh, <clears throat> and I hadn't collected every single one of them um, because a lot of it doesn't match any of my collections but uh, oh man Melissa and I were sitting trigger ready uh, when the time came to order this pen because we were like we cannot miss out on this pen uh, because it is um, uh, a scene from Empire Strikes Back and so I don't want to say that it's uh, for the 40th anniversary because it doesn't indicate that, but it definitely is from that movie. Uh, but you've got your ATs and some uh, fighter planes there, um, and you got it saying pew pew. And this is um, a limited edition of 500. So let me give you a quick close up of this one. Here is the jumbo uh, of the AT ATs, and these actually slide, just that one. And you see it says pew pew right up there. And look at the background. I mean, it just mimics that scene of ice and snow. I just love it. And this is a limited edition of 500. Oh, this, oh, that does move. It hadn't moved before. That one actually moves too. Cool. So love this. 
So I was not able, this is another pen that was, um, that came out from Loungefly, um, and it is a Pixar pen. I wasn't, well, you know what? I purposely didn't pick it up at the time. I just had decided I wasn't going to get it, but oh, it's such, I, when I saw it, I just loved it. When I saw folks just, you know, showing it, I was like, oh me. So I did pick this up on the secondary market at a really good price. Um, and so I had to pick it up, but it's a Pizza Planet, uh, featuring the three aliens or all the aliens and uh, it's a limited edition of 500 and look at this box it is so cool i mean it's checkered i just love it and uh so let me give you a close-up of that so here we go here is pizza planet and if you open this up and this is kind of heavy too oh, if you open it up it shows you an alien and then it shows you the pizza and look at there, it's all the little alien he heads right in the pizza too. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Love that. So the next thing I wanna share with you, I only have about two more pens to show you, but this is uh, the new um, pen that just came out. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen a lot of this already, uh, but this one is for summer 2020 and it's going to be, it's, it's a quarterly pen, like a seasonal pen. We already have spring, this is summer, and then I guess fall and winter will come out. Uh, but this is Ariel, so let me show you that. How beautiful is Ariel in this pen? I just love it. And Flounder is right there with her. And look, there's this summer 2020. So cool. When it finally uh, completes the set, you'll have a circle. Okay, so the next pen is a very recent. You can still get these on Shop Disney right now. This is a limited release pen, and it is a Pixar Toy Story 3. Um, so I love this pen, and Melissa actually picked this up for me. Uh, and so that was a little Cersei from her. And so thank you, Melissa. I love it. And so let me give you a quick shot of this. How cool is this pen? I love it. Toy Story 3, you got Buzz and Woody and Mr. Potato Head and Ham. You have a lot of the characters there uh, in this design. So love that. And if you can see in the background, can you see that design that's kind of made into the background? Isn't that uh, Andy's toy chest? Love it. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to share with you is a couple of the boxes that Melissa had extra of the Nightmare Before Christmas blind box pens from Loungefly. Uh, and these are the backpacks which feature the Nightmare Before Christmas. And so uh, I told her that I really, really wanted to complete this set. Um, right now, everywhere uh, I find them listed, they're sold out, so I can't pick them up right yet. Uh, but she had a couple extras, so uh, I'm gonna open up those and let you see what she sent me. So let's see. Oh, she still even has it in the little black bag. It's open, but uh, all right, it's Jack-Jack. One is Jack-Jack. And then let's see what the other one is. Open this one up. And this one is, oh my goodness, who is this? A slock? This is Beryl. I have a hard time telling those apart, but I think that's Beryl. Uh, so let me show you these up close. Okay, so I'm going to show you both of them at the same time. And as you can see, there's Jack Jack, handsome Jack Jack, and then there's Beryl. And so I think there's like six in this set, if I'm not mistaken. And so I want to pick up the rest, but love those. Thank you, Wissa. I love those. So guys, that finishes my pen collection. And so thank y'all so much for hanging in there with me. Um, again, I hope you guys have a wonderful Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. Uh, be safe with the fireworks if you're going to have fireworks and uh, just enjoy it. So guys, until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.